The mother of a man diagnosed with autism who froze to death in the woods near Beverly Hospital is suing the hospital for medical negligence. He was missing for 17 days before his body was found covered in snow in January of 2022. His mother sat down with Five Investigates' Karen Anderson. And Karen, she has new information about what happened there. Karen? And Erica, this lawsuit includes new information from Daniel Donovan's medical records showing he checked himself into the hospital in a mental health crisis and it was recommended that he get inpatient treatment. But there are still a lot of questions about what happened next and why he was discharged six days later after receiving what the lawsuit calls negligent medical care. What do you miss most about him? Oh, everything. Everything. Judy Ann Donovan has been tormented thinking about her son Daniel's suffering in the final days of his life, struggling with suicidal thoughts, checking himself into Beverly Hospital for help, then dying naked in the snow 21 days later. I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine. It brings me to tears. She's now suing Beverly Hospital and three providers, claiming they were responsible for Daniel's death. According to the lawsuit, emergency department records show Daniel checked himself into Beverly Hospital reporting constant depression and suicidal thoughts, saying he wishes to be dead and can't endure my life any longer. The lawsuit states providers were going to search for an inpatient bed for Daniel. But there is no evidence that search was conducted. And over the next five days, Daniel was warehoused in the ED emergency department without any psychiatric treatment. The day before he was released, a hospital employee wrote Daniel continued to present as depressed and noted he continues to endorse SI, suicidal ideation. But 24 hours later, records suggest a transformation. A different provider wrote that Daniel was requesting to go home, saying he was future-oriented and no longer having thoughts of suicidal ideation and that he may be discharged from a psychiatric standpoint. Daniel was discharged that day, the lawsuit says, with no ride, no money, uncharged cell phone, and no support person in place. It's unacceptable. It's just totally unbelievable. The lawsuit says it is very likely he proceeded directly to the woods around Beverly Hospital and proceeded to disrobe and lie on the ground to die. He was found undressed, curled up in the fetal position, and partially covered by snow. The medical examiner said the cause of death was hypothermia. Daniel froze to death. The lawsuit claims his discharge violated state protocols, which says a facility should make every effort to avoid discharging mental health patients without a place to go or support services. One phone call. One phone call. One phone call. Could have what? Could have made the difference that he'd be alive today. We reached out to Beverly Hospital for a comment on the case and a spokesperson released a statement saying in part, well, we are unable to comment on any specific patient case due to privacy laws. We offer our sincere condolences to Mr. Donovan's family on their loss. Now the hospital was just served with a lawsuit and has yet to respond in court. In the newsroom, Karen Anderson, Five Investigates. Karen.